Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to share a quick testimony with you all today about how I learned about God and how I came to know God. So I'll start off with my early family life. I was born and raised into a non-practicing Christian family, so I knew very, very little about God growing up. Um, we didn't pray as a family. We didn't go to church. We didn't read the scripture. The only time I'd ever been in a church building was um, the couple of funerals I'd gone to. But the small amount of exposures I had to faith God really used in my life to bring me to him later on. So as a child, one of the biggest pieces of exposure I had was the movie The Prince of Egypt, which if you don't know is a movie about the Passover and the exodus of the Hebrew people. Um, and I was obsessed with this movie when I was a kid. I used to like play with my dolls and pretend I was Yoheved and the baby was Moses. And I really, really loved this movie. So of course, every Easter we watched it. And one Easter, I was at my grandparents' house, and we were watching it, and my grandpa told me that the story was real, and I that was just like crazy to me. So he went, he got a Bible, and he showed me where it says it in the Bible, and I thought that that was so, so cool. And then he showed me um, the story of Easter, since it was the Easter season. and. At this point, I would have, if you'd asked if I believed in God, I would have said yes, but I definitely did not know what it meant to believe in God. I didn't understand the correlation between Jesus and God. I thought that they were all just um, stories, and maybe they really happened, but they didn't really mean much to me at that time, and they were just kind of um, in the back of my head. I never thought about God. I um, never prayed. It was just um, a thing that I said. So when I was 11 years old, I moved from the city into Walkerton, and both of my siblings, before we moved, had been going to a Catholic high school. So when we moved here, my parents enrolled me to St. Teresa, and I really like to wonder if they, at the time, knew what a huge impact that would have on my life, um, because now I was starting to learn about theology in the church every single day. And so as a result, I came to know a lot about God. I was really good at school. I was really good at retaining information. So I just, I knew everything that they were teaching us. I had it all. I was acing every religion test. I really knew a lot. But I didn't really know at the time that knowing a lot about God and knowing God are absolutely not the same thing. So when I learned this was when I was attending a summer camp. Um, I go to Camp Carith which I think is an awesome camp. I've spent every summer there since I moved, and it has done great things for my development of my faith. Um, and at this camp, the staff there really have true and deep relationships with Jesus. And during my first week there, um, I heard countless personal testimonies about people coming to know God and how God transformed their lives. and. Um, how grateful they were to God and all kinds of testimonies, people from all different walks of life sharing these really intense stories. And it was just this like most incredible experience. It was so intense, like I said, really crazy. So on the last campfire of every week, the leaders ask the campers if they want to accept Jesus into their lives and have him change their hearts. So I'm sitting at this campfire. I'm just like maybe 12 years old singing I've decided to follow Jesus and I'm thinking really really hard about whether or not I want Jesus in my life whether or not I'm gonna make this big decision and finally I'm just I get up all the nerve and I make my decision and it's I don't know I don't know if I'm ready to have my life changed in that way and that's a, actually a really good spot to be at the I don't know phase of faith because that's when you can tip over to the yes so um, for me, this was a really good spot to be. I'm not sure I believe it, but I just don't know if I'm ready to commit to that. So I go back home, I go to school, I start going to the mustard seeds a couple of times. I wasn't a regular, I just kind of like snuck in sometimes. My life was pretty normal um, for a 12, 13 year old. And then one day Sam came to my school with the mustard seeds band and he was doing a presentation um, and playing some music 
and I have no idea what the presentation is about. I could not tell you. It was probably really, really well written. It was probably really amazing, but I don't remember absolutely anything he said except for the very, very end when he was telling us that there's not a single person that can get into heaven without the mercy of Christ. Not even Mother Teresa could have made, fought her way into heaven. She needed Christ's love and mercy. And then he played a video and the video is called Falling Flights. It's going to play at the end of this video if you want to stick around and watch it. I highly recommend. Um, and the video is basically um, Jesus' perspective of the story of sin and salvation. And it's told through symbolism. So it's things like um, trees burning, balloons popping, plates crashing and falling, a laptop dying things like that and it's really really well done um, and when I was watching it um, I really felt connected to Jesus in that moment um, and I felt really like extremely overwhelmed to the point of tears for this like just absolute longing for Jesus I'll, like I had never felt like I needed someone so much in my life um, and to this day, I still cry every single time I watch that video because it was just such a strong tool that God used in my life. Um, and it's really intense. So uh, anyway, I really recommend you watch it. You might watch it and be like, this is not intense. What is this girl talking about? But for, for me, it was um, a really, a really enlightening revelation in my life. So at the very, very end of the video, the screen goes black and the voice of Jesus says, will you follow me? And in that gym, it was just like when when it goes black and he says that, it was like the whole room went silent. And I, the room was definitely not silent. Elementary school, everyone was definitely talking, but it just felt like really peaceful and quiet to me in my heart. And I really felt like that was Jesus' direct question to me. And so I went home, watched the video about a thousand more times, cried every single time I watched it. Um, and I had a really, really good think about it. And I decided... Um, that nothing feels more real or more powerful in my life than the love of Jesus. And so that's when I decided to let Jesus into my heart. I let him change my life. My life is um, very crazy now because of God and that's actually really awesome. I'm really happy about all the amazing things that God does in my life now. Um, and I have many more testimonies. Um, than this. So if you'd ever like to hear them and you see me around church, I will definitely tell you. Um, so thank you so much for sticking around. I, didn't, I know you didn't really have to stay around and listen, but if you did, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys all enjoy the video if you want to stick around and watch it. And I hope you're all having a really awesome Easter. You have an awesome rest of your Easter and God bless you.